We love torque release technique. Maybe it's the engineering in me um, or the objective science and research behind why the technique works. Uh, torque release technique was actually built out of a research study at the University of Miami School of Medicine. And, and, this, and it's kind of a funny story of how the technique got started because they actually set out to show that chiropractic doesn't work. Right. And the study was completely funded to, to, with that purpose. Um, so in order to, to perform you know, a double-blind placebo-controlled study, they had to create a reproducible way of analyzing and adjusting the spine, which is so tough to do because chiropractic care is so biased based on the skill level of the practitioner when we're talking about adjusting with our hands. Um, and what they created was an analysis to locate what are called primary misalignments in the spine. So anytime you have a primary misalignment, you can have multiple other areas that are compensating, creating other areas of aches and dysfunction in the body. Um, and then they said, okay, now how do we adjust these, right? Because, you know, if I adjust you with my hands as a trained chiropractor or someone else does in town, it's, it's all different based on the skill level of that practitioner. So they created an instrument called the integrator. And the integrator is amazing. It, it fires in a 10,000th of a second. So now we don't have to overcome all the muscles. So what that means for you as a practice member and our patient is you can lay in a relaxed state. We don't put any tension on the spine. Um, and we can very specifically and very gently adjust those vertebrae to the proper place, taking pressure off the nerves and restoring that proper function. Uh, and that's a big reason that we love torque release technique. When people are getting checked in, in an office practicing torque release technique like ours, um, what happens is you're going to lay down in a relaxed state. Um, your feet are going to hang just off the edge of the table. Um, and what we're using is something called a functional leg length reflex. So we're stretching the feet down and we're stretching the Achilles tendon. So neurologically what's happening in the body is the brain is going from thinking it's laying down to it's standing up. And what we're actually checking for is how the body's adapting and responding to that process. And that's given us specific information about where in the spine we need to be performing adjustments to restore that proper communication and allow the body to function better. So this is the integrator. This was the instrument that was developed out of the research study um, at the University of Miami School of Medicine. And what happens is it's a preloaded instrument. So it's cocked, and when a certain amount of force is on the end, it's firing at a ten thousandth of a second, just like that. So we use a lot of speed. That allows us not to overcome those muscles. Use a lot less force and more specifically, more gently adjust those areas. And the last big component of it is a thing called torque, which actually where the name comes from, torque release technique, because the, the, the end spins in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction based on the position of the vertebrae. So a bone doesn't just misalign in one direction. And now we're able to address that full subluxation with one specific and gentle adjustment.